Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on a big time niche that spans multiple months. All right, multiple months, this is pretty good. And it changes a little bit year over year. This niche, of course, is graduation. And we are knocking on the door of college graduation followed by you know the lower grades. Probably the next big one we'd target is high school graduation. So the focus of this video is to look at graduation gifts that are currently popular on Etsy that are only slated to increase in popularity. So let's get to it. So to get started, I'm here on the Etsy.com homepage and I'm going to go to the search bar and type in graduation gift. I often like to start at a very like high level, type into the search bar, whatever you think the highest value keywords are. Then if you see something that stands out, whether it's a product type or a niche, you can go ahead and add that in the search bar to your existing query. So graduation gifts, candles, right? Graduation gift cards, something like that. So my goal here is to simply give a scroll. I didn't pre-script the video. Let's just see what is popular and look at you know any insights we can get as far as the data, as far as sales analytics to inform our decision-making process of if we should be selling this. So the first one I actually wanted to look at is this, uh, I actually had it open right here. Um, it is this personalized acrylic campus map. Now, one thing I wanted to notice or a point out about this listing over here is that you'll notice it says University of Alabama. If you wanna sell this product, I would not include anything related to like a specific college and college name or college, you know, mascot in your listing. We know that can lead to some trouble on places like Etsy. I know like on Redbubble, it seems like colleges are the strictest when it comes to IP infringement. That being said, if you sold this as a personalized gift and somebody said, well, I go to the university of insert the blank and you created the product and shipped it to them, you at least wouldn't have to worry about Etsy closing your account, right? So anyways, if you got what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. Uh, but this is an interesting idea. They literally have the campus map. Now, I don't know about you guys. Where I went to school, it was really easy to get the campus map online. And I'm assuming that's probably the case for just about most major colleges. So this is something that may look a little bit hard, maybe a little bit far-fetched for you to do, but it's not that in my mind. I haven't done it, all right? I have not done it. I imagine this isn't that hard to do. So you offer the campus map, you offer the name of the college, even the um, thing that they majored in, you know, what they study. <laughs> and then they even went as far as to put like the longitude latitude. I don't know if I'd go that far, but um, this is really cool. One last thing, I'm going to click analyze listing and look at the sales data provided by Everbee. So it looks like they're doing about 20 sales a month. And this is probably a relatively new listing. Yeah. Listing age is only two months. So this is positioned really well. I mean, that had the organic rank one bestseller when you search graduation gifts on Etsy. I mean, that's awesome. 20 sales in two months, one review. And we know that like the graduation gift trend is only just now picking up. So that is something we should be paying attention to. It seems like, you know, out of the first row of organic search results, three of the top four were the uh, like acrylic, I don't know what to call them, light up acrylic block type things. Um, graduation gift money holder, that's hilarious. I don't know who can fulfill those. Graduation keychain, that could be interesting. Uh, let's see, graduation keychain. Let's run Everbee on it right now. If you were able to fulfill this, 28 sales a month currently, and listing age is only four months. Interesting that we're seeing some newer listings mixed in towards the top of organic results. Good for us, right? As sellers that are looking to make an impact with new listings, it's not just the old existing ones. They're letting some newer listings um, get some visibility towards the top. Here's a personalized graduation necklace. All right, and notice, I mean, guys, we've been talking about this for a while now, but Etsy has really been trying to fix their public image in the sense that they want to be thought of as the destination to go and get personalized custom products. So this listing, the necklace, 56 sales in the last month. The listing age is 12 months though. So it's a little bit more established. All right. There's already 172 reviews on this uh, listing itself and almost 32,000 views on it as well. So um, they're definitely positioned to have another huge year. I'm assuming they did well last year as well. Um, if I move my head here behind me, there is a personalized card with a generic picture of a girl that's graduating. I'll show you here. Okay. But notice they added a customization right here for the name. Um, cards are easy to fulfill with Printful uh, for print on demand cards. If we hit analyze, oh, by the way, 36 people have it in their cart. Damn. Uh, estimated monthly sales, 60. 
that is uh, definitely, you know, again, we are, if I were to pull up Google Trends, we are just seeing the initial uptick for graduation gifts right now. When this is like peak season, we're gonna be 10X this probably. So yeah, this is where you wanna, and a lot of people are talking about Mother's Day, and of course Mother's Day is incredible, but don't overlook graduation because that's multiple months. Mother's Day comes and goes, graduation stays. Uh, listing age, 20 months. So they're going into their second year. Oh, Christmas ornaments, interesting. I guess if you graduate after the fall semester, maybe this makes sense, but this is also still in demand right now for the summer graduation. Uh, you can see they have the graduation cap, they've got the name, they've got the university. Again, I would be very careful about tagging universities or putting that in your SEO uh, in Etsy, but if you wanna just you know, kinda do the wink, wink, nudge, nudge, put it in the demo product right here, you're not gonna get in any trouble. Well, actually, don't quote me. I am just talking head on YouTube, but you're a lot more likely to be safe by uh, avoiding putting it in your SEO and just maybe sliding it into your images. Estimated monthly sales, we continue to increase 90 sales a month. If you asked me what the Christmas ornament would have done, I would not have guessed that it would be that popular, but here we are. Data provided by Everbee, linked in the description, by the way, in case you wanna check that out. High school graduation gifts, you've got like a, like a holder for your phone, your headphones, interesting. Your wallet, uh, engraved pen. Interesting, engraved pen. I never really considered that, but uh, it analyzed listing, let's see. The pen is selling for uh, more than 20 bucks as well. So nice, healthy price point. And again, we're increasing in monthly sales, 99 sales a month, listing age 13 months. So going into their second graduation, this is something that on Etsy and on Amazon, I imagine tends to be true. The first kind of season that you go through, you wanna just accrue sales, sales signal to the algorithm relevance, you get some reviews, even better. They have 335 reviews. Then the next year, and this is for seasonal things, you're positioned extremely well. I mean, this is already a bestseller too because the algorithm already understands and knows that customers like what it is that you're selling, right? So this is really, the, the name of the game is always keep that long time horizon. You're gonna make more money on the second cycle than you are in the first, almost assuredly, assuming the first goes well. Um, we had saw these earlier in my private community. Graduation tape. I'm not sure who can fulfill that. Graduation stuffed animal. Um, you may be able to find somebody that can fulfill this. Analyze listing. So this is a, almost a $30 price point. Monthly sales selling about one a day. Listing age is two years. So this is not really a super high end, but uh, it's something that you probably don't have a lot of competition with. I'll just leave it at that. You know what we haven't seen much of, if any, is t-shirts, sweatshirts, et cetera, the standard POD stuff. And I like that because we know how hard those are to sell on Etsy. So how about pivoting away from that for a change? Um, college gift card book. Okay, so a gift card book, interesting. So you're basically selling the box and they fill the box with gift cards. I love that idea. Um, how about this though, the senior flag. I was looking at this one. This has got print on demand written all over it. So these flags, I don't know about you guys, but come on now. Have you ever been driving in the neighborhood and you see like, Sign, yard signs saying, oh man, like person's name graduated from this school and you got the year, of course, right? This is easy to see coming. Go sell some yard flags. I mean, come on. There's a bunch of different ways to sell them too. Whether you want to do like the kind of higher end um, hanging ones. I know there's some yard signs too, like kind of the political style yard signs can be fulfilled with print on demand as well. Uh, analyze listing. Let's see how many of these are selling. 94 sales a month. So about three a day. Uh, listing age, 47 months. So they're in their fourth or even fifth graduation cycle. So good for them. Um, you can market these to high school, to college. One thing I noted too is they are only allowing two colors to be customized, right? They're keeping the white text, but they'll let you customize the, you know, in this case, the blue, they can turn it to red and then also provide that secondary color. Here it's gray, here it's black, you know, here it's blue and yellow. So if you're gonna offer these, consider just limiting the scope of what you allow to be customized to reduce the headache. You know what I mean? You don't wanna spend hours on these things. Um, jewelry dish, it looks like a Christmas ornament, but it is in fact a jewelry dish. Let's run uh, Everbee, 136 sales. Okay, this is a winner so far in terms of the monthly sales, more than four sales a day on average. And this is going to do extremely well as we head into peak season. Notice how simple it is too. Sometimes, guys, it just pays to do something a little bit differently than everybody else. I bet you it is quite hard to find fulfillment for these. This seller, for all we know, is fulfilling it themselves and doing quite well as a result. Probably has a healthy profit margin built in, I would imagine, as well. Um, what do you say we call it there, guys? I mean, everything else looks like a lot of repeats. <laughs> oh, how about this? A glass. We'll end it on this one. It's not quite a coffee mug. It is a uh, whiskey mug, we could say. 
uh, let's analyze listing here, but it has the name, the university, and the class of year. Okay, so they've got quite a few customizations. 19 reviews, it says zero um, estimated monthly sales, interesting. So four people have bought in the last 24 hours. Maybe it just recently spiked in terms of its demand. Um, you know, and that would make sense as we are just now getting into the, you know, the start of people searching for graduation gifts. But I just love this as an idea for, you know, we had the jewelry, we had the jewelry jars or not jar, the jewelry um, plates for the girls. How about the whiskey glasses for the guys? Not that girls can't drink whiskey, of course, but I like that idea. If you can find somebody to fulfill a uh, glass and then be able to customize it as well. Guys, let me know what is your favorite graduation gift that you're looking forward to selling this year. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Check out Everbee linked in the description as well. And I'll see you soon with a new video.